This is an overview of some software that can help you manage your reprint collection as well as your annotations of PDF files. So the traditional way of dealing with reprints is to photocopy them out of a journal and then do hand annotations and highlights and maybe make additional notes on index cards. Today's version is only slightly better than that, in which you download a PDF file, print it, and then do the hand annotation, and then worry about filing. The problem with the system is that after a while, you collect hundreds or thousands of paper documents, which take up a lot of space and take up a lot of effort to maintain and to find that one article that you read a year and a half ago and want to find it again. Eventually, that system breaks down, and you get something like this. So software comes to the rescue, and I've broken the uh, problem down into three pieces. One is software to help you carry out electronic versions of PDF annotation. Then secondly, software to help you search and index your PDF collection so you can find those articles again. And then lastly, something that's emerging is integration of these PDF search and indexing programs with bibliographic software to output your bibliographies for final published papers. Okay, PDF annotation. The tool of choice, probably, the, the king tool is Adobe Acrobat. It costs some money, but it's quite powerful. It can allow you to write on the electronic version of the article, to highlight text, to put notations inside those texts or uh, on the document itself. It's probably the most powerful of all the programs intended for uh, annotation of PDF files. Uh, years ago, people talked about a paperless office that really hasn't come to play, but this is uh, we're moving slowly in that direction. So uh, Adobe Acrobat is probably the top program. It costs some money. There are free versions of programs that uh, can do some annotations. So some of the ones that I've caught wind of are things like PDF Exchange Viewer, Evernote, Mendeley, PDF Annotator, and OneNote. They're either free or at nominal cost, and sometimes they're included in, in uh, suites. So I'll have more to say about Mendeley and it has some additional advantages for indexing software. I think Evernote also allows you to search and index your PDF collections as well. Writing, uh, using, using a, a standard computer with a mouse to annotate PDF files is um, not as convenient as using a highlighter and pen. However, tablet computers have been making this job easier, closer to what paper annotation with a pen and, and highlighter is. And in particular, there's a program called iAnnotate for iPad that seems to uh, bring you one even closer to the paper experience. Well, so let's say you've collected your hundreds or thousands of articles, some of which you've taken the time to annotate. Now, how do you find those articles? There's a series of programs that are intended for that, and I've listed some of these. Uh, some of them are are platform dependent. So on Windows, four of them have caught my attention. I'm using DT Search, and I'll have a few things to say about that. I've also experimented with a program called Mendeley, which I uh, am impressed with. Uh, in addition to that, Zotera has some of the capabilities of Mendeley and is promising. And the last one is Google Desktop, which allows you to index and search your files on your desktop. And uh, that has uh, the advantage of being free, but it doesn't have quite the capabilities of some of these other more dedicated programs. Uh, on the Mac world, some of the programs that have caught my attention, although I haven't got direct experience with some of them, uh, Senti is an important one, Papers is recommended by some, and then the Mendeley and Zotera programs, which operate both in a browser, so in the cloud, and also uh, some of them at least have desktop versions. And then the last thing I want to just mention is uh, sometimes it's useful to sync your PDF collections across computers, let's say one at home and one in your office, or maybe a couple in your office. Programs like Dropbox and Live Mesh have been found useful for those purposes. Let's talk a lot talk about the indexing and searching programs and I'll talk about two of them. First there's DT search. This contains two modules. One indexes uh, let's say a file full of PDF or a folder full of 
PDF files. Uh, works it quite quickly, and uh, and then a, a second program allows you to search that set of files, and you can search it with uh, complicated search criteria. For example, an author's name and a, and a topic, a keyword. In this case, I've searched my 2,000 files for the author Zabotina and the keyword um, xyloglucan and found some 19 files in my uh, two collection of 2,000 files uh, fulfill that criteria where both of those terms are mentioned. And this is what the DT search uh, window looks like. So up at the top, one sees a um, listing of the articles, and they are ordered by criteria uh, some hit criteria, kind of like uh, how blast searches work. So the high, the ones with the highest frequency of hits is, shows up at the top, and then it works goes downwards. In the bottom panel, you can see the pro. The uh, it shows the the file. It's in a uh, Adobe format, and you can page through it and search through it and do some various things that you can do with Adobe Reader. In fact, this is uh, it uses the Adobe Reader client inside the program. So DT search uh, I find really quite useful for searching files and I've been using it for s several years and uh, can recommend it. Mendeley is another one that I've just recently discovered and it seems to be quite powerful and have some additional features that DT search doesn't have. So with Mendeley you import your file and what it does is it tries to read them and, and creates a, a secondary database um, which includes the author's names and the journal and other citation information. So that's shown on the right-hand panel here. In the middle panel is the list of articles. And then uh, it allows you to search the list of articles and then sort them by various criteria. So if we search, for example, xyloglucan, we find a, a number of articles shown here in the central panel. We can filter them by, for example, the title of the publications. Uh, we can add notes to individual articles. We can tag them. So this information on notes and tags and some of these keywords and things, that's maintained outside of the PDF file itself. You can also mark a file uh, for, let's, let's say, for example, you want to come back and read it. If you mark it, it's easy to find it again. You can tag it with a certain topic and, and um, very easily then find any files that you've tagged with that topic. Okay, Zotero has something, uh, does something fairly similar, although I haven't quite figured out how Zotero works. It seems to be um, working in a different way than Mendeley and uh, maybe a little tougher to grasp. Uh, Senti is got a, on the Mac platform has got a lot of good words on, found in, in the internet. Seems to be a very powerful one, and, and Papers is another one. Uh, I mentioned already that you can sync your PDF collections uh, with programs like. Dropbox and Live Mesh. Mendeley allows you to sync across computers also. And then some people prefer to use something like remote desktop connection or related kinds of programs, which allows you to access, let's say, your office computer from your home computer directly. That assumes you've left your office computer on and hasn't gone into hibernate mode, and uh, uh, also assumes you have a nice, fast connection. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about is the trend towards merging these programs which index and search your PDF collections, so basically manage them, uh, with programs that are intended for bibliographic output and for citation, for basically handling the job of writing a manuscript and putting references in it and putting the bibliography in a uh, finalized form for publication. Uh, my uh, search so far says that none of the programs really are quite satisfactory yet. Uh, Mendeley and Zotera are supposed to have plugins that can do what EndNote and Reference Manager can do. They can uh, insert citations into a paper and create a bibliography, but the bibliographic format uh, at this point isn't satisfactory in general. So they have a few formats uh, that are worked out, but as anyone who's written these papers or pa papers for publication knows, every journal has a different particular formatting style for its bibliography, and Mendeley and Zotero at this point still don't handle those um, adequately. 
you can export the database out of Mendeley or Zotera to a file that you can then import into EndNote and Reference Manager and then use those programs for the final publication. Though it involves extra steps. I think in a year's time or so these programs will improve to the point where they can be actually useful as a bibliographic software, essentially a replacement for uh, EndNote or Reference Manager, but that's not the case at this moment. So to summarize what I said, there's a number of programs for PDF annotation, a number of uh, possibilities for, for searching and indexing your PDF collection when they get into the numbers of hundreds and thousands, and then finally in time some of these programs such as Mendeley and Zotera will be merging the capabilities for indexing and searching with other capabilities such as bibliographic output. That's what I have to say. Hope you got something out of it.